channel. So today we're going to talk about uh, clinical apps that are used for nurse practitioner students. You probably can use these in nursing school, but I don't know how helpful they would be. But in NP school, these are the apps that I use. So let's get started. So the first app I wanted to talk about was a practice question app. And I think that every nurse practitioner student, every nursing student should have an app that you can do practice questions on. Um, this app is for adult gerontology nurse practitioner uh, certification review. And that's the name of the app. I paid about $30 for it. They had one for NCLEX, but it was for family. And this particular person is by Joanne. Her last name starts with a Z. I can't pronounce it, but I'll insert a picture of it somewhere up in here. Um, but the app has about 1,200 questions on it. It has six practice uh, tests. And you can also build your own exam where it times you and it has randomized uh, test questions that it picked for you. But the thing that I like about this app, it, it, is, it is broken down systematically. So it's broken down from endocrine, respiratory, uh, cardiac, so that type of thing. So it's broken down in those particular sections. And that's why I navigated towards the app because I had the adult gerontology, where well, I still have, of, as you can see, the adult gerontology um, review book by Leak. And I want to say they said Hollier is a good one to use for your uh, board exam. And I brought this book and it has really, really good information in it. But the questions are towards the end and they're randomized. So the difference in between this book, this book and that app is that the app basically is broken down into systems. So say for instance you wanted to just focus on endocrine that day, it's organized in that way where you can only have endocrine questions. Where you go to this book and you don't know what questions going to come after the next. So it's not organized. So when you're studying for comprehensive exams, you like to break it down and be very organized when you're studying for a comprehensive exam. So that app is really, really good for that. I also have the review book as well from the same people in the review book is on my iPad and it's broken down by sections as well. So that's what makes me study with the app and the book um, versus this one. And like I said, I do study with this one. I use it for more informational references for disease processes. And I use those apps mostly for questions, if that makes sense. So both of them are really, really good study tools that you can use. But that is what makes the app different. Also, you don't have to carry around your large iPad or your large book, you always have your phone with you. So you can just do practice questions on a whim, whether you're sitting down studying, I mean, sitting down getting your nails done or whatever, you're, you have your phone, you always have your phone. Instead of looking on Facebook, I train myself to do practice the questions. The next app I wanna talk about is the Medical Diagnosis and Treatment app for 2020. I paid about $60 for that app. And basically the app is pretty tedious. Um, you just got to know how to search what you're looking for. So the main thing, if you're searching for something, I prefer you, I, I recommend you go to the main index and that way it'll pull up everything because the table of contents kind of limits your search versus the main index. It kind of shows you everything. So when you're looking up something in this particular book, it's really good for clinical. Um, it tells you the differential diagnoses, the general considerations, the imaging, the, um, the treatment for it. So it's a really, really good book. So say for instance, you were looking up um, acute cholecystitis. Basically, it tells you when to admit them to the hospital, what imaging you may use, what um, medicine you may use, what signs and symptoms you may see, that type of thing. So that book is really, really good. The only thing that it, that's complicated is once you figure out how to search, it'll be easier for you to find things. And that was my problem with the app, but the app has really, really good information in it. So I recommend this app for clinical 
somebody actually told me about the app another nurse practitioner student and so i got it so i'm like app crazy but it, they are really really good apps and they are easy to use this one just a little bit tedious but once you get into the searching like i said i always just go to main index and it makes searching a lot more easier um so yeah, that app is a really good app. Next app that I wanted to talk about is called the EMRA app. Um, it's an antibiotic guide app and basically it's really, really helpful in clinicals. That app is actually broken down into systems. So like I said, I'm going to try to do a screen record and insert it here if I can. And basically the app breaks down the antibiotics for per system. So like the GU, you go into it, you'll see anything from UTI to uh, candidiasis, things like that that you're prescribing antibiotics for. It um, recommends the days, the dosages, and the antibiotic that is most helpful for that particular um, disease or STI or infection or whatever. It also has the viral um, in there as well. The viral, the viral uh, antibiotics in there as well. So that's a really, really good antibiotic app. I got that from a nurse practitioner student that I was actually doing clinicals with. She had the pocket guide one, um, and it's the same information. The only difference is when it's time for it to get updated information, the app automatically updates versus the book. You're kind of stuck with that information that doesn't update. Also, that subscription is $9.99 a year so I mean you we spend that on food so I was like well it can be helpful for me and it's really helpful in clinical you guys because your preceptor is always looking <coughs> sorry is always looking to test you so you want to have something that you can reference that um, is easy access and that book that antibiotic guidebook works um, I looked at John Hopkins one I think I chose that one better. I think I like that one better. The next app is the last app that I want to talk about, and it's called the Hippocrates app, and it's really, really easy to find drugs using this app. So, say for instance, you get a patient with a, you know, a high TSH level, you're looking for a hypothyroidism drug, it tells you when to start the drug, it tells you follow-up, it tells you, um, special considerations this, the whole nine is in this Hippocrates app book and you kind of pay subscription is monthly i don't even know how much i pay they just charge it to my apple card i want to say it's like 17 dollars but i'll look and i'll insert the price but it's a really really good app for drugs you guys so it gives you like the starting dose for love with the rocks and of course you follow up in four to six weeks once they're stabilized you do every 12 months so it kind of has all that information systematically available for you and yeah so i recommend those four apps for nurse practitioner students and i'm telling you they're really really helpful you guys so just check those out and let me know what you think about these apps in the comment section below and i thank you guys for watching this video i hope that it was really really helpful um those apps really really helped me so yeah i hope you guys have a good day night whatever and